In this video, I'll be walking you through how to utilize columns using Shogun. Let's get started. So a column is one of the building elements available when customizing and creating a Shogun page. Utilizing columns are a great way to place and position elements horizontally. They're also useful for breaking up content into separate vertical sections. Let's walk through how to implement a column and show how to customize columns in a couple different ways. First, let's learn how to simply add a column. So I'm starting with a simple blank page here. And to create a column section, I'll simply go over to the structure section of the builder to drag and drop the column element over to my blank page. When dragging the column element, you'll notice that it automatically splits into two main sections. When the column element is selected, I can hover over to change the number of columns from something like two to three, increasing the total number of columns available. You also have the option to customize and style your columns to suit any content inside. So for example, you have the option to change the width of each column, either by clicking and dragging the vertical separator between each column, or you can also alter the width from the Shogun Builder. Let's say that you have something like two images in side-by-side -side columns that are a bit too close for what you want on your page. If you select the column, head over to the Builder and increase the space between columns indicator, it will increase the space between each column. Vice versa, if you want elements in each column to be closer, simply decrease this number. You can also create a hero section using the column element. To do so, I'll decrease the total number of columns to two and place an image in the background of my right column. I'll include a title and a call to action button over in the left column. You can play around with further customizations here, but column elements make it pretty quick and easy to establish a custom hero section on your site. Now, something important to remember here is mobile optimization. So when I go over to see how my current setup looks in mobile, you'll notice that it doesn't look too great. Always remember to optimize pages for multiple devices. So to optimize columns for mobile, make sure the stacking on smaller screens option is selected. And once you've selected this, things should look much better on mobile. So overall, let's recap. Number one, Columns are elements that can be primarily utilized for aligning content horizontally. Number two, once a column is placed, it can be customized through the Shogun editor to configure options like column spacing and vertical stacking. And lastly, when it comes to practical applications, columns can be used to allow for quick customization and spacing of just about any section on a page. Hero section optimization is a good example. Also remember to always keep multi-device optimization in mind. And that's all for this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.